Girl Tiffany coming to you with a update on my crochet braids. I promised you guys that I would keep you guys posted as far as my care and um, everything that um, is going on with them because when I was looking for information for myself, um, I found no video really um, as far as like updates on this. Only videos on how to actually do the um, crochet braids and that I didn't need to know. Well, I did need to know, but I didn't need to you know, you know what I mean. I wanted to see further past the installation. So, this is officially my um, one month um, installation video. I installed these um, a month ago. Well, yeah, a month ago now because I installed them on the 26th of July. And it is now, now that it's after 12, it is now the 26th of August. So... This is what it looks like. It's still as a main, 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 as my hubby calls it. Um, he still talks about my bonnet. And it still looks the same. It looks, it's bigger. Um, I have added a couple pieces in the front since I've done, since I did that video, I did um, go back and and if you look back at the video and look at it now or pictures on my Instagram that I posted recently you can see the difference um, I didn't fill in the front because my braids were really really sore and really really tight so I couldn't get the latch hook well I could but I didn't want to get the latch hook uh, needle under my actual braids so I opted on waiting until they you know softened up or eased up a little bit and then I went in and filled in where you could actually see my braids so if you look back in the video you'll look and you'll be able to tell like where my braids started and ended. you'll be able to clearly see the braids whereas now you can't it's all filled in with hair and um, I went back and I bought a pack like one whole pack of 1B 20 of one of not 1B uh, a whole pack of 27 uh, to feel that in because I wanted more of the blonde because the blonde was giving me so much life y'all know I love my blonde streaks I love how it looks against my skin tone so um, I kind of went overboard um, as far as that like and um, this is how it looks after one month every day um, you know when I take my makeup off I wash my face you know with my I take off my makeup with my makeup wipes my MAC makeup wipes and then um, I wash my face with my cleanser that I talked about in my previous video and my favorite video is coming up and I do have a couple tutorials that I already previously recorded so I just have to edit and upload them um, so yeah my face wash I wash that off and then I use the um, the Echo Styler Gel to lay my baby hair down and I wash it out every day so it won't uh, build up because you know build up with Echo Solid Gel and braids and just gel period is just disgusting. So I make sure I wash it out every day and then I just lay it down every morning and it holds it pretty down, pretty good all day. And it doesn't leave it flaky or crusty or white looking or greasy or anything. Um, you can't see real new growth like my it doesn't look poofy at the beginnings like my braids would look if they had had like the real hair you know really like normal braids. So um, it seems like the older it's gotten, the more compliments I get on it now. People love this hair on me. Like, love it. I love it. Um, I will say the longer the longer that it's in my head, the more I love it. Um, I'm not looking forward to taking it down. I'm obsessed with it now. Um, as far as tangling, I do get some tangling. Like, it sometimes it'll, like, as you can see here, like, it'll kind of tangle together. But you can just literally pull them out like some of the hairs will kind of stick together like that and you can just literally just take it right apart but the hair holds pretty good I don't put any products on it um, as long as I don't literally comb it out it has worked fine and I have moved it I have put it in the ponytail I have put it in my bonnet I play in it you know I run my fingers through it like this just to get like the tangles out sometimes kind of like that like like that just like normal synthetic hair but it still doesn't look bad. Like as you can see the worst it'll get is like frayed like this. But it still looks amazing. And what I do is instead like I know so the back it looks like 
kind of fray like here um but if i make sure i keep the front up as far because i don't like when it looks frayed like that in the front uh, so if it looks frayed like a piece like this say if it looked frayed like this right here i would literally just go in and cut that part out and put a new one like i'll just take from my new pack and put a new one there and it's just just that simple like it's the upkeep is very easy um, I've even washed my hair um, at, in the two week mark um, I washed my hair and how I washed it um, I literally just took some shampoo held my hair I put all of the hair up in like a huge huge ponytail and then I put the shampoo and I really massaged it into my scalp like this and then I just stuck my head under the water and just let it run through and run through. And then I just let my hair, my scalp and my hair air dry. So that's how I wash it. So if you have crochet braids, you can wash your hair with them in and not mess up the hair as long as you don't comb it out or get the, um, you know, like shampoo in it and then have to literally brush it out. But even with the shampoo, you can still like run the hair under it and rinse it out. So that is my um, update. See like how it tangles like back here. And just like any synthetic hair or wig or anything. Um, it does kind of like mat in the back here. Like right at the nape of the neck. But like I said you can literally just comb it out like this. And then I don't worry about the back like up under here. Because I don't wear it in a ponytail ever. So I don't worry about that. I just um, if it irritates me too much I just um, you know comb it out. I just focus on like the front and the sides like this here because I always like pull it up like this or um you know to the back or something but my normal day to day I wear it like this with like one side pent back so that all of this is not in my hair in my face because when I take this out it's like this <laughs> and then I just untangle it like that and then I just decide on how I'm gonna style it for the day or if I want to just leave it like that because sometimes depending on where I'm going I will just leave it down but for the most part especially if I'm working um, so it won't like be in my face all the time I'll just literally just flop it back like that and then these are the clips that I use they look like this so they won't get snagged and I literally just bouffant it up like that and clip it down I do my little baby hair thing and I roll out the door done so that's my um month update um, like I said I haven't put any products or anything on it I wanted to just show you guys how it looked after a month um, no I am not taking it down anytime soon um, it is time for another wash so I will be doing that so if you guys want to see a video on how I wash them um, I will try to do that I'll have to get somebody to hold the camera for me so yeah but if you guys want to see a video on how I wash my crochet braids wash my hair with crochet braids and um i will do that for you um but so far so good see you guys